Welcome to yet another guide on how to install MX Simulator on a Mac. Uh, this guide will apply for the High Sierra Mac update where wine staging doesn't work anymore, at least not for now. So, this guy will probably be good from late 2017 and onwards. So, 2018 users, this is probably the guide to use. So first up, open your browser of choice and type in Wineskin. Go to Wineskin, the first one here. Go to Downloads. Uh, click on this down on here, Wineskin Winery 1.7. Wait for SourceForge to give you the link. And it's a really, really small app here, so just open this one up and extract and you'll see you have a wineskin winery and also before this I wanna say I've only briefly tried to make sure it worked so this might not be the optimal way of installing but this way should work nevertheless and also you might need something called x -quart quartz this thing uh, I'm not sure uh, I've seen some notes about it so if it doesn't work, try to install this program too. It's just a Google. So open this thing here. Let's wait, give it a moment here. Oh, here it is. So we need some sort of wrapper. Um, so uh, let's just use, don't use the wine staging. I, I'm not sure, but wine staging didn't work for me. So let's use the a wine uh, WS9 wine 2.16 that's the one I used now at least download and install okay so let's wait for this to finish once installed it should look like this uh, then we have we can update so let's update not sure if that's needed or how but um, updates doesn't hurt. So, and now we can choose create new blank wrapper. I'm gonna call it MX Simulator. Okay. And it's a few waiting times during this process here. Uh, we get asked for .NET applications. I chose cancel in last one. Same with Gecko and HTML. It worked for me. So let's see here. It's going to take a while to load, so just stay here. Oh. Um, as you can see, created in users, your username, applications, and wine skin. So let's remember that we can we could also click here you wrapper in finder. And then down here we can see Macintosh users, Christopher applications wine skin so what we want to do is open we you don't want to double click at the moment it won't do anything really so or I tried last time when I chose install software but it didn't work for some reason so I'm going to show you what did work for me so show package content you have to right click or double click you want to go to drive C then you want to go to, or you don't need to go anywhere, you can just really copy the MX Simulator install file. So, copy for ease of use, and then we can do paste item with command V. So, now currently it's in the wrapper, which is here. So, now we can double click this one. Uh, once you get this prompt here, you want to first off set screen options and this is the thing that made other one crash auto detect GPU info for direct 3d uncheck that one so you do not want this one to be checked or the game will probably crash if you want full screen settings you can go you have to override and then you have to do full screen this is just okay here so, but I'm going to show you the difference later. So, uncheck this one first, and then we're done. I'm gonna go to Advanced and uh, Windows XC file. Uh, it should open Drive C for you. 
in um, the current wrapper, which is what we want. Or you just, if it's something else, you can just go back. But you should find the MX Simulator install file here, nevertheless. Choose. Once you've chosen the XE file here, you can just exit. Because when we double click this one, it's going to open that file because we specified it. So waiting here, we get the MX Simulator install wizard. Just forward here, you want to use the stock settings, I assume. I haven't tried anything else, but the stock setting works. Nice and fast install, finish. And um, how do you play the game? So it, I can't say it's tricky, but it's a little bit weird. So if you double click again, you will be prompted with the install, which is super weird, you might think, because you already installed the game. So um, once again here, um, show package content and now you want to double click this wine skin you want to go to advanced once again and instead of having the um, MX Simulator install thing you want to go browse and you want to have drive C program files MX Simulator and MX.exe choose so once you're launching uh, the MX Simulator app. Um, it's going to specify that you want this MX Simulator executable file. So you can close it once again and you can go back to Wineskin. So that would be you go to your home directory, you go to Applications, Wineskin, and you have the MX Simulator application. So we can double click this one and it should start MX Simulator. But as you can see, it's not full screen. So, but it says full screen in game. And this is what I was talking about before. So let's exit the game. Uh, show package content once again. You wanna go to the wine skin symbol. Because that that is where you're prompted with the options. Set screen options. And override wine control of screen settings. You want to override and then instead of rootless which is windowed you want to go full screen ok settings click on done you can exit once again you want to back out to wine skin you want to double click this application and it should now execute a mix simulator I hope you seriously can see. I don't. I can't see the top bar. So I'm not sure if this is recording. But just opening up a track here, we get a ton of sounds. So you can see, should work. Not sure the stock controls. Let's see, throttle, arrow up, back up. Let's use B. So something should happen here. Uh, classical as you can see something happens at least so you wanna quit and it takes a while here for the application to quit so just hang on tight uh, so that's how to install um, wine basically and if you wonder where the personal stuff are you wanna go to open package content once again here show package content we we'll go to Drive C, Program Files, MX Simulator. This is a normal file where you put skins and tracks, which is the program files on Windows. If you go back here, so go to Drive C, Users. I'm gonna go to your username here. So that for me, that's Christopher. We're gonna go to Local Settings, Application Data, MX Simulator, and here you can see where the screenshots and stuff from. Uh, that we took by accident here. Before we end this video, I just want to show you sort of a problem I found with the full screen, which is um, if you open the game and then you tab out, so if you tab out of the game, you can see that the game is still open, but even if you sort of open the game, it's still the dock will still show here. So therefore I would actually recommend to have 
the um, non full screen option which you go to open the package contents go to wine skin set screen options and uh, do not override the settings so that's okay exit and then we want to go and open the game again because as of now we shouldn't really have any problems to open and close the game so that's just small advice for you take it or leave it but I'm out for this time so see you in my next video